In recent days, many of you have likely grown impatient as no new signings have joined the club following the two deals to recruit striker Joshua Zerksi and centre-back Lenny Yoro. The budget issue continues to be discussed frequently as the club has not yet been able to sell players who no longer fit the team. However, with recent information from credible journalists, it seems Manchester United is preparing to trigger a transfer deal for Bayern Munich star Nusser Mazzaroi, a versatile fullback and former student of Ten Hag. There's something special about this deal the Red Devils have pulled off a genuine hijack, catching many major journalists off guard who thought the Moroccan international was headed to London. This is the interesting story we'll share with you in today's video. The story began when highly respected journalist David Ornstein in England updated some noteworthy transfer news in the Premier League, including West Ham nearing an agreement to sign defender Nusser Mazraoui from Bayern Munich. Previously, the Hammers were reported to be very interested in Aaron Juan Bissaka of Manchester United, who has only one year left on his contract. Shortly after, reputable German journalist Florian Pluttenberg of Sky Sports also shared information about this deal in the media, agreeing with what his colleague David Ornstein had reported, while providing more details about the negotiations between the two clubs. According to reports, the transfer fee was said to be 15.5 million euros plus 4 million euros in add-ons, which Bayern had agreed to. Additionally, other sources indicated that the Moroccan international had reached a verbal agreement with West Ham, with only final procedures remaining to complete the deal. At that time, many people imagined manager Julian Lopetegui getting a high-quality new signing to upgrade his squad after taking over the hot seat at the London club from predecessor David Moyes. As for the Old Trafford side, they were genuinely interested in Nusser Mazraoui as an addition to the right-back position with Aaron Juan Bissaka having only one year left on his contract and likely to depart this summer. Moreover, the 1997-born star is also a versatile player who can perform well on both flanks, so if Luke Shaw and Tyrell Malaysia face fitness issues, there would still be a suitable replacement option. But then a surprise occurred when Mazraoui's move to the London club stalled due to financial issues and disagreements over contract details. Thus, the former Ajax star will not join West Ham as reported a few days ago, opening up an opportunity for the Red Devils to acquire this versatile defender. Meanwhile, the Spider has once again become the Hammers' top target this summer. According to an update from transfer expert Fabrizio Romano, the 26-year-old player quickly reached a personal agreement with the Red Devils as he is very keen to work with his former coach Eric Ten Hag. However, this transfer story will hinge on Juan Bissaka, as if he agrees to join West Ham, it will pave the way for a noteworthy transfer domino effect in this summer's market. Sky Sports journalist Dharma Sheth has also updated the price that the London club wants for Spider-Man at £15 million. This is also the figure that Bayern Munich had previously agreed with West Ham for the new Sir Maseroi deal so Manchester United's leadership will have leverage in negotiations with the Bavarians. The appeal of the Red Devils and Ten Hag to their former players is undeniable. Previously, we saw Matthe Jazz de Ligt voluntarily reduce his salary just to come to the theatre of dreams. Now, the Moroccan international is setting aside all other offers just to quickly reunite with the 54-year-old manager. Waiting for this, sporting director Dan Ashworth and director of football negotiations Matt Hargreaves quickly worked with Nusser Mazraoui's agent, Rafaela Pimenta, to discuss two deals related to Bayern Munich. This super agent has fully supported Manchester United to quickly complete the work. At this point, the African player joining the club is only a matter of time. Some sources have revealed that the Old Trafford side hopes to make at least four quality signings this summer, potentially up to seven depending on the actual situation. So the current two new signings cannot satisfy the ambitions of the owners, and depending on the process of selling players, new elements will be brought to the club. A prime example is pushing Aaron Juan Bissaka out and welcoming the new signing from the Bundesliga. The transfer fee that the Red Devils offered to persuade the Bavarian Giants falls in the range of 15 to 20 million pounds, including add-ons. This means the initial base amount to be paid is not much different from West Ham's offer. 
Recently, Italian journalist Fabrizio Romano provided official updates surrounding this deal and how to quickly conclude everything. Manchester United has reached an agreement and agreed on personal terms with new Sir Masrawi, who wants to move to England immediately. He has the same agent as Matijes de Ligt. There are no issues with the agreement with Bayern Munich, but the deal still depends on Manchester United finding a solution for Aaron Juan Bissaka. At this point, Masrawi is patiently waiting. It is known that the agreement reached between the Red Devils and Nusar Masrawi is a five-year contract effective until June 2029, which also includes an option to extend for another year until 2030. Similar to the Joshua Xerxi and Lenny Yoro deals, Masrawi is currently waiting for Manchester United to sell Aaron Juan Bissaka first before proceeding with the transfer. Currently, the Spiders. Negotiations with West Ham are progressing very favorably, and according to predictions by many experts, this story will conclude in the next few days. Then Masrawi will soon become the third new signing for the Old Trafford side this summer. At the same time, manager Eric Ten Hag will reunite with the formidable Ajax duo from the 2020 to 2022, from the 2020-21 and 2021 to 2022 seasons. Bringing in the Moroccan star to activate Antony is an extremely promising scenario not only for Ten Hag, but also for Manchester United. We all know that the Brazilian dancer is going through a very difficult time at the Theatre of Dreams, but he is still an element that always gives his all whenever he is on the field, and his fighting spirit will be the key point for the management to keep him next season. So why call this a heist from the Red Devils? simply because they made Nusar Masrawi change his decision quietly and without fanfare. Although it was known that the club had been pursuing the 1997-born defender, everything was just rumors, and West Ham was said to be closer to reaching an agreement with Bayern Munich on a transfer deal. Of course, if the Old Trafford side had completed the exchange between Aaron Juan Bissaka and Denzel Dumfries of Inter Milan, as some newspapers had previously reported, it seems the former Ajax star's move to the London club would have been completed last week. But surprisingly, things didn't go as predicted, so the search for a new right-back resurfaced across the media. Seeing his opportunity, Nusser Masrawi rejected the hammers through his agent, Rafaela Pimenta, and was ready to wait for Manchester United and manager Eric Ten Hag. The club's management was also more comfortable in negotiating with Bayern Munich when they had the amount they agreed to for this deal. In fact, Manchester United only needs to pay a little more than what West Ham proposed for the story to end even faster. But currently, they are still waiting for Juan Bissaka to finish negotiations with the Hammers to officially announce the third new signing arriving at the Theatre of Dreams, a highly anticipated reunion next season between the two former Ajax collaborators. Of course, fans are still concerned about the Moroccan star's situation, whether his physical condition will ensure he can play at high intensity or in a powerful environment like the Premier League. Injuries have always been a major concern for the 26-year-old player throughout his career. Specifically, the website Transfermark Statistics show Nusser Masrawi had to miss up to 96 days of play, thereby missing 19 matches due to five different injuries a considerable number compared to colleagues in the same position. Even with Juan Bissaka, he didn't miss much less than the player under contract with Bayern, but this is still a big concern. Recently, the Red Devils have also received unpleasant news about the injury cases of Rasmus Hoagland and Lenny Yoro in the friendly match against Arsenal in the United States. Or last season was a real nightmare when Manchester United was the team with one of the highest number of injury cases in the league. Therefore, fans as well as manager Eric Ten Hag himself do not want this to happen again. So we need to note that Nusser Masrawi is an element brought in as a backup for Diogo Dalla, so he will not play too much in the coming season. Moreover, with his familiarity playing alongside Antony and the Moroccan international's highly rated attacking supportability, the former Ajax star can certainly bring even more powerful attacking force to the team on the right flank. Too many injuries may also be a significant black mark for the 26-year-old defender. Additionally, he is not strong in one-on-one -on -one challenges, and his defensive ability in one-on-one -on -one situations is still limited, 
which is something Ten Hag will need to help his former student improve. This can be seen as a gamble for the Old Trafford side, but if they can buy him for £15 million, it's still a very decent signing for the team. Therefore, the deal to recruit the 1997 born star is nothing short of a heist that the Red Devils have carried out right under West Ham United's nose, potentially disrupting new manager Julian Lopediguai's plans to revive the team after a relatively disappointing season. Once again, the club's leadership has shown its value, wisdom and savvy in helping Manchester United obtain good enough personnel to compete next season. Of course, one summer transfer window cannot solve everything, but with the good foundation being built, fans have the right to hope for a brighter future. Thank you for tuning into VR360. We hope you enjoyed our latest updates and insights on all things Manchester United. Remember to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on the latest news, match analysis and exclusive content. Join our community of passionate Red Devils fans and share your thoughts in the comments below. Your support helps us bring you the best coverage of our beloved team. Until next time, stay united and keep the red flag flying high.